Hey guys, BrickWizard59 here and welcome back to a brand new video. And today I'm super excited as we have finally official set images for some of the newer 2018 Spring Star Wars sets. Now New York Toy Fair is in full swing and uh, because of that we're getting all the new 2018 set images. So uh, in this video I'm going to do an analysis on the Yoda's Hut, the uh, Jedi and Clone Trooper Battle Pack, the Kessel Run Falcon, and Darth Maul. Sadly, we don't have the other uh, 2018 uh, Han Solo movie sets, uh, which is a shame, but still, these are some really good ones. So, without further ado, let's go and get started. All these images are from some awesome uh, YouTube channels, as well as hotbricks.com. I'll link to all of those down in the description below if you want to check those out. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so first off here we got Darth Maul, and again, I'm not too interested in the buildable figures. He looks pretty good. He actually does not look too bad for a buildable figure form, and he has a pretty nice not lightsaber. Again, not going to go too much into debt with these buildable figures. Now, first off here is the Castle Run Falcon. Now, we had already gotten images of this uh, earlier a couple days ago, um, but we didn't get images of the interior. So now we finally have images of the interior of the Castle Run Falcon. Again, I didn't do an analysis, so I'm going to just quickly give you my thoughts. Overall, I like the blue and white color scheme. It's kind of something different, kind of something unique. So I really do like that. Uh, again, uh, there are definitely people who don't, but I think it's actually a pretty good build. $170, though, is a little bit too much for this set. Again, you can see nice detailing on the back. It's pretty much identical to the 2015 one, except for a section in the front. And, of course, the color scheme. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at the interior. Alright, so here we have a look at the interior. And I think it looks pretty good. Again, they have the uh, table with the kind of uh, game that Chewbacca and C-3PO used to play. Uh, again, it looks like instead of having couches, they have like these seats. So it's kind of, again, a newer version. You can see some really nice uh, control panel detailing in the back. As well as you can see a couple of like drinks and what looks to be some sort of bed I'm not completely sure on the very right so overall the interior looks really really nice uh, again you can again see a few boxes on the other side so overall they did a pretty good job with the interior very similar to the others and overall the set is a pretty good um, again a little bit too overpriced but still they've done a pretty good job uh, portraying it we just now need to see how it will look in the film so we can get a really good comparison to see kind of its accuracies but there is the Castle Run Falcon. Alright, next off, this is what I'm super excited about, Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack. We finally have images, finally ones without the copyright watermark. Uh, and again, here's a look at the box. It looks really good. You get four minifigures. Again, you get two Phase 1 clones, which is a bit disappointing. I wish we had gotten Phase 2 clones instead. Uh, but again, you can see the box art looks really good. You can see the build, which is again a bit odd, and we'll get into that in just a second. But overall, this is probably the one I'm most excited about in these uh, sets. So here's a look at the figures. Again, uh, Kiati Mundi has a brand new torso, head, and legs. So he's pretty much brand new. Uh, you got the regular Phase 1 clone. I think now you do get leg printing. I don't think we had leg printing back then in 2013. And then Barisofi, who does have a skirt piece, which I don't like as much. As those are kind of annoying because you can't make them walk and... Uh, you know, they have to be standing still, basically. So I'm not a huge fan of the skirt piece, but overall, the minifigures look great. Much, much better uh, than their Clone Wars versions, and this is definitely going to be uh, something that many folks like a lot. All right, and here we have a look at the build. Now, again, I'm not as big of a fan of the builds, and just in general of these battle packs. This one looks more like a Republic gunship type of build. It looks like it has some decent pieces, so it'll be good for some alternate builds. Uh, but again, overall, not as happy with how this one looks. I feel like I'm, again, not a huge fan of the builds. has some great parts, as I said, um, but there's a look at the build. All right, so now we have a look at the uh, Yoda's Hut. Quickly just taking a look at the figures. First off, RTD2. Uh, Probably we've gotten this version before. I don't know. He might be new because of all the dirt on him, but I feel like we might have even gotten that version in the past as well. Again, he looks pretty cool. Uh, just uh, regular old R2-D2. All right, and next off is Yoda. Now, this is a figure I'm really in love with, so 
basically what they did, they left the regular head and uh, added a new torso, uh, which is supposed to represent his uh, original trilogy outfit. Now again, personally I felt like the Yoda head uh, that's shown here is more of the prequel trilogy yet ahead and the old one from like 2002 through 2005 was the old original trilogy yet ahead so I wish maybe they could have made a bit of a newer mold to kind of make him look a lot more like his puppet form but again this is a great figure I'm really excited about it and I'm definitely going to be picking it up all right now here is Dagobah Luke now sadly again his legs were cut off in this photo but we will see a better look at him in a bit, but I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, again, he has the nice pants, which are actually his Cloud City uh, outfit pants, which is cool. Wish they could have just included an alternate torso of that Cloud City outfit torso, as that's a very rare figure, and so it uh, definitely would have been nice to get a remake of that. But again, he looks really nice, new colored hair piece. Uh, and again, here's a look at Yoda's hut, which again, I think looks really good. Uh, you can see it's kind of like three main parts. You have the hut and the two sections on the side. You can see uh, it's it's in the nice tan color, some nice uh, olive green, dark tan in it. So I kind of like the colors. It's just a bit of an odd color. If you look in the film, it was a lot more darker, and it does look a little bit boxy to me. Um, but you can end up uh, folding it up, and it looks like this. And again, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see on the interior you have a various uh, small details. You can see you can put Yoda on Luke, which is pretty cool. Um, and the side portions fold into the back. And that kind of gives a larger Yoda's hut design. And uh, overall looks pretty good. You can see we have a, that translucent piece on that rope. So you kind of can swing Luke around. Um, and then Luke on this next photo, he actually is, you know, practicing. Uh, using four so you can see that he has a nice alternate face and again here's a better look at that Cloud City uh, pant detailing which looks really nice just wish they included that torso um, and then in terms of the interior you have uh, his bed and a small pot so if you remember in the sixth film when, or even in the fifth film when he was making food for Luke so that's kind of the nice place there and then also we have a look at his bed, which again looks pretty good. Nice small design on the interior. Not too much there, but still a decent amount. And I believe this set is going to be $25. Alright, so there you go. There's a look at all of the 2018 spring sets from New York Toy Fair. Overall, I'm pretty happy with all of them. Again, the battle pack looks really good. Great figures. Uh... Definitely, that's going to be my favorite of all of these. Yoda's head also is a pretty good, a uh, pretty good build. Again, the set looks nice. Maybe a little bit small uh, for a twenty-five dollar set, but still, I think it looks good. It's going to be a pretty popular one, and it's a nice way to get that original trilogy form of Yoda. The Castle Run Falcon looks good. Just the fact that it's a little overpriced is a bit disappointing to me. Um, and then uh, the Darth Maul again, not too much to say. So overall, a decent, nice little spring wave. I like they're making a new spring wave. Um, but anyways, there you go. So there's a look at those new Toy Fair set images. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be great. Do not forget to subscribe for more. This is Brook Wizard 59, and I'll see you all next time.